Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Somebody made a suggestion I should be calling you my beautiful YouTube friends and I agree, but the whole little friend thing came from me and my best friends call each other little friend. We say little friend, big friend, little friend, big friend. So that's how the statement came about because I consider you guys my close friends. Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna teach you how to smolder luster, look sexy, and you know, the whole eye, eyes talk louder than words can express. So we are going to pound on a smoky eye using Emila Beauty. And I want to thank you guys for sponsoring this video because I used this brand. A lot of you guys were on me to try out vegan, cruelty-free makeup brands, and this by far has to be one of my favorites because the payoff of the shadow, you guys have no idea how bomb the texture of these shadows are. I love that there's a shimmer and a matte in each shadow palette. I actually posted this beautiful purple look that so many of you guys wanted a tutorial on, but then I posted so many photos of it that I thought I would give you guys a new look and two tricks on how to get a perfect eye look and look like you are a professional MUA doing it. Also, all Emila products are dermatologist, dermatologist tested and clean, cruelty-free ingredients. What I love about each palette is they include matte, metallic, and shimmers, which means you can create a complete eye look using just these colors. Each palette has a different color story. I picked this one. I did an eyeshadow look using the purple one. You guys went crazy for it. I loved it. The payoff, the consistency, the texture of these shadows are so sickening that I decided to do another Valentine's Day look for you guys. As you can see, I am wearing a gorgeous moment. You guys are my Valentine's this Valentine's Day, including all my other friends. It's going to be a very interesting quarantine Valentine's Day, so I hope whatever you guys do this Valentine's Day, you feel special love. I don't know, I feel like Valentine's Day is like always a weird holiday whether you're in a relationship or not because there's so much pressure. Just take that pressure off of you and love yourself if you are single for somebody else to love you equally. Attract that, take care of yourself, pamper yourself. Even if you're not going on a date, girl, watch this tutorial, look sexy and just be about it. Watch your Netflix or Hulu or Amazon, whatever it may be, and look like a boss ass bitch doing it. All right, so let's get started with the eyes. So I've been using this trick since I was 17 years old. Yes, 17 years old. Before I could get a line, I used to use scotch tape. If you guys know me for a very, very long time, if you followed me for a very, very long time, you know and you know know that. Who's the one that put you on scotch tape on the eyes? Comment down below if you guys were influenced by me with this trick. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, any new viewers that don't know how to use this to get the perfect cat eye. You can use this with liners, shadows, how to get the fastest rapita. Or is it rapido? Rapida, rapido, whichever one. I'm trying to learn Spanish. <laughs> whatever it is, it is the fastest way to get the perfect eye look. And this is amazing, amazing, amazing for beginners. If you guys don't know how to blend that well, this kind of helps you do it. Not only does the scotch tape cut off your line perfectly, it helps your blend game. And I'm gonna show you how. So the application of the tape is actually quite crucial. So you want to get a little pinky size amount. Make sure they are even. How you apply the tape, let's get down to business. When I flip the hair back, it's gonna get serious. We are going to grab each tape like this, hold it diagonally. You are going to place it right underneath your lash line. Don't place it too high up because then it starts looking unnatural you are going to place it right perpendicular to where your brow would just typically end, right there. So diagonal to the arch, this part should 
line up with your arch science and mathematics and this part should be just a little bit space between the tip of your brow following through on the other side the same way and if your eyes are not even don't try to match the tapes to one another follow the guideline i just gave you with your brows now you have that part down watch how fast this is going to go so the Urbanite, including not only the Urbanite, every single eyeshadow palette that they have is created for all skin tones and all eye colors. So this will match anyone and everyone. It's all inclusive. Let us begin with the second trick I'm going to teach you guys real quick. I know a lot of you guys use different color eyeshadow bases or um, concealers to make sure that your eyeshadow latches on. Now, you definitely do need some kind of primer for this eyeshadow look for it to last, especially with dark colors. You need something to latch on to the color for it not to smear around. So let me show you a really cool trick. Um, you grab any concealer. I just grabbed a random concealer. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab onto this grayish color called anthracite. You're going to take the back of any brush. I know you don't want to do this to your eyeshadows and you are going to mix it in there. This is how they fool your asses to buy a hundred different priming colors. Just to let you know, this is technically what they do in the labs. So I'm just showing you how to do it at home. We're going to grab a little bit more because I want it darker. You can do this with any color, pink, purple, anything your heart desires you can do. Just make sure you blend it in. There is absolutely no fallout left or hard parts of the shadow. You just have to keep taking it back and forth and blending it in. And there you go. You got a colored eyeshadow base to begin. How cute, right? I'm just using a flat synthetic brush and I am going to apply that to my lid and then I lift it up like this and I pull it up because we are gonna smoke out our crease and pull it out to your tape. Follow on the other side. Isn't it crazy how you can make different colored shadow bases? It's a little DIY moment, if you will. I know I haven't been posting a lot. You know, she's been healing from the many things she's been going through but honestly i want to say thank you guys so much for just everyone reaching out to me everywhere like i love you guys so much i never thought again i know i keep saying this but i really never thought i can connect with an audience the way i've connected with you guys and i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your well wishes and your beautiful messages for every single brand that has sent me flowers I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm doing well, as well as I could possibly be doing. She will come out stronger. I'm making another batch of it, just because it dries out fast. Make sure this area, your cat eye area, is stamped in for it to stand out. Don't pull it too much. You have to be careful just right here. Don't go too high up. You guys get what I'm trying to do? You see how it's like, meow, meow. meow. I am going to be using the individualist, individualist, I'm going to be using the individualist palette in this tone, which is Bastouche, and it's like a really pretty pinkish nude. I am going to just tap it in right there, which is like under the arch of your brow. You guys, how you hold your brush has a lot to do with how well your blend's gonna go in. I am not pressing it really hard. And when it comes to the lighter tones, when I'm trying to make it look like airbrushed and fluffy, I will always very, very lightly work this color in. And I'm gonna pull it out all the way to this edge over here. My brows need a trim, girl. She's hairy. We have the light tone set in. We are going to use the Grease Anthracite color now, the same one that we used to create our base. It is a matte. And I am going to just pack in to my crease. It's not blended, we're just packing it in. Now, in a circular motion, 
I'm going to blend it in to that lighter color. So we are packing first. Packing, it's like tapping it in. And then we are blending that beach out. Comment down below if you guys missed me on YouTube. I know I haven't posted in a minute. But can you guys see how buttery it looks? Because damn, cook cutter, not a butter. And with darker colors, I suggest you work your way instead of just dumping it all, all at once. Because then you can control like the gradients of how dark you truly want to go. Now I'm going to kind of build it in to the edge of my eye to create that cat-like effect. I know a lot of you guys say some of the stuff, I make it sound so easy. And when you guys do it, you're having a hard time. Play this while you are doing your makeup. Like do your makeup with me and you'll see how easy it actually is. And I'm gonna choose to go a little bit darker. Now using a clean brush, there's absolutely nothing on it. On the outer part of this color, I'm just going to blow it out, meaning you are going to keep blending. As I say, if you think you've blended enough, you still haven't, just keep blending. Especially when it comes into like the transitions of colors. The trick to a really good smoky eye is the blend and not to use too many colors. A lot of people for smoky eye use a hundred different colors and just looks muddy instead of a sultry vibe. This is just the clean brush. Again, the outer edge, not the inner edge. We are blending. Now, we're gonna go back to the brush with the nude pinkish tone. And I'm just going to place it on again. Back to the clean brush. I'm gonna use a feather brush and we are gonna go into the tone Blackout, which is the darkest color in the palette. And I am going to just pack it before we do anything else. Make it look like it's like an eyeliner going on with eyeshadow, like that. See how we're getting there already? I'm not blending it yet, we're just packing it on. And now I won't bring it too forward, I will keep it two thirds into the eye. I'll wipe off the brush, and with the same brush, I will just start blending just the blackout tone. Now, this is how good their metallics are that you don't need to wet your finger. We are gonna go in with London Fog, which is this tone over here. I'm gonna use my pinky. Look at that payoff. And we are just putting it in the center of the eye. Okay, we have those two colors. Now with just a clean small brush, what I'm going to do is just a little bit from where we placed it in the center, I'm going to blend that forward so it looks seamless. It doesn't look like that shimmer is just out of nowhere, you know? I always like test out a smoky eye tilting my head up like this just to see what more needs to be down. I feel like this side could use a little bit more blending. Now that all the colors are on, I'm just gonna go around one more time with the blending. We have on the gray tone, London Fog, and Blackout Black. Just three colors, oh sorry, four, on our eyes. Now. I'm going to go in with their eyeliner. We're gonna go in with the Unify Liquid Liner. Um, the felt tip on this is amazing. It's so easy to apply. Also very long lasting and it's easy to use this, but the tape is going to really give you like a guide to apply it even more better. Who doesn't want to apply it better? So the way we are going to begin is very, very close to your lash line. I mean, it's just so easy to use and get like that really, really thin, thin line. I always like having a thin line because it makes my eyes look more smoldery. I look funny doing that with the tape on. Now we are going to just create the wing. Yeah. Did you guys see how easy that is? There's your eyeliner. If you are an eyeliner fanatic like I am, you will gag for this eyeliner. It's so easy to make that like perfect, perfect thin line with their felt tip. With this look, I suggest not making your liner too thick because you wanna let 
the shadow do the talking for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in to the wing over here. The felt tip is so pigmented, it's just like stupid. We have on the liner, the shadow. It will be a little bit red, don't get scared. Bitch, who are you? Look at how crazy smooth that looks. Told you. It's like the smoky eye, cat eye of all mothers with scotch tape. I suggest you not ripping this off your face because as you can tell, I made my skin a little bit red. Who are you? Like literally, it's so sexy. Ah. Now we're gonna get into the bottom part. Actually, we'll do that after we have on the face. I'm still gonna clean up under my eye a little bit. We are gonna go back in and make our base again. But this time, we are gonna use the blackout shade. Blackout, if you look at all my um, shadow, pa shadow palettes, shadow palettes, most of them are like this because this is what I do. I'm going to use a synthetic pencil brush and hit it at the outer corner. And then I want it to be lighter towards the inner using any black liner you're gonna line your waterline i feel like i haven't worn black liner on my waterline in ages guys like the og harouche look now a lot of people skip the step for a smoky eye but you absolutely shouldn't i like to grab onto it with my nail and get my tight line i don't know if you guys can see what a difference this and this makes it makes your eye look smaller when you get the tight line. A clean, real hair pencil brush. You go and you start blending out the shadow. As you guys can see, I want like that like sleepy, like, uh... That's beautiful, Katie. Because <sighs> if we just kept it heavy on the top, it would have been more open. But when we smoke out the bottom, it gives you more of like that. You guys know what I'm talking about, that like sultry, like when you take pictures like this, it just makes you look like a sleepy eye. Not like sleepy from Snow White, but you know, a sexier version of that. And cool tip, if you have creases over here and if you have um, like wrinkles over here, when you smoke this out, you don't have to put concealer there and it completely hides it. Since this look is all about the eyes because our eyes are talking, I'm gonna do my skin off camera. If you wanna learn how to do your skin like me from top to bottom, click the link over here because this is a night tutorial and it is just about the eyes. So give me a second, be right back. And we're back. We have the full face going on and a lip and let's get into the eyes. So got a little ahead of myself and I did this eye on stories and forgot to film it. So I'm gonna do it for you guys on this side. So this mascara, it is again, 100% cruelty free, it has hell of a staying power and it comes off easy when you wash it off. Don't ask me how, it must be magic, but it really does come off easy when you wash it off because sometimes I do wear lash extensions and this mascara does not harm my lash extensions as some mascaras rip them off. I'm going to do the bottom lashes. I like to like squint and do it. Also, honey, let me hit you some bougie shit. This is ophthalmologist tested. So an optometrist <laughs> approves this mascara for your eye, ophthalmologist. That's all I need. Because honestly, sometimes we don't realize what we're putting in our eye or close to our eye that those ingredients can be harming for our gorgina eyes. I am going to pop on a lash. It's not too much, but it's like flary, kind of like a wispy vibe. To be honest, if you don't feel like putting on lashes, you can leave your eyelashes just the way they are because the mascara is extremely plumping, but it's YouTube. And I wanna be extra. Let me lift while I place the glue on the lash. We're gonna let it get tacky. We're gonna move on to the brows really fast. So here's the dope part about their brash brow. It is not a gel, it's considered a mascara. Also, for those of you that don't know how to draw on your eyebrows, this kind of creates hair strokes for you because there is color in it. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually hold it like this so you guys can see better. 
whoa, that was a lot for my brow. But for you guys, that would be very nice. You guys see what it did to my brow? I mean, I got hairy ass brows, so it grabbed onto the hair quickly. That's how strong it is. But imagine if you didn't have any brows and you just did that stroke, it would put the color there for you. So you hit it from the bottom, bring it up. They have a multitude of colors that you can pick from, whatever your hair color is to match it. Or if you're feeling like doing your brows blonde one day, all you need is this if you have darker eyebrows and it will do the job. And something I like to do is if I have bald spots, I'll take the tip of it. I'll go like that and then I will push them up. Also, if this couldn't get any better, it is a vitamin rich formula that nourishes your hair while you wear it because some gels and products like this actually make your brow hairs fall out and that's not what we're trying to do. We are trying to grow in every single way possible. We are trying to grow mentally, brows, life, goals, everything. We are growing, mother I know you guys see the difference in the brows right now. I have a scar on my right side. So dip back in and go like this. Also, what it has is kind of like a gel brow wax effect. Um, I know they don't have this in their description, but it definitely is standing to attention on another level. If you grab just a clean spoolie and hold it down, you know how like everyone wants what I was trying to run away from when I was a kid? That brow look now, all you have to do is just hold it up and it will dry in that direction. See what I mean? I truly cannot believe this trend is in because literally I used to cry to my mom because I hated that my brows used to do this so much. Well, who knew? And just going to clean up just a tiny bit. And did you guys notice I did not use a brow pencil? I think our lashes are ready to go on our eyes. We are going in with some wispy small lashes because I don't want it to take away. My actual lashes, believe it or not, are actually longer than the lashes we are applying. And you guys already know, I like to play with it while it's drying just to make sure it stays. This is my bigger eye, so I'm going to try to place this closing it in more, as you guys can tell. And anytime I put on lashes, I like to go one more time with the liner just to make sure that it looks super sharp and crisp because sometimes when people be looking down when they have eyeliner and they put on lashes like the lash gets stuck to your skin and when you look down everyone can tell that's not your lash just take this extra step it's worth it i literally hold it down with my fingers because i don't want it to get on it and i am just covering the bend of it all oh my god my hand almost slipped so I'm not like trying to do more to the liner. I'm just covering the eyelash band. Now the inner corners. This is the perfect fault liner to do that inner corner cat eye look. Let's do it with a mirror so you guys can see it better. I'm gonna go in following. It's splattered, but it's okay. My lower lash line, connecting it. We are just going to do the same up top connecting it and you're not going to try to move around your eye too much because you want this shit to dry now with any other liquid liner i would tell you not to do this but this one has all natural ingredients so it will not burn your eye i find it very easy to do with liquid liner versus a pot liner following through on the other side we are just creating an extension of that inner corner triangle, the tear duct area, we are making it sharper. If you guys have far set eyes, this is perfect for you because it makes your eyes look come in closer and it just like has this like smoldery sexual effect. So I like to do the bottom first, let that sit for a second and then I connect it. Now on this side, I have a fold, on this one I do not. So this one, I make it come out more. This one, 
I keep it a little bit further away from my fold because then I would just like, you know, when you have a fold here, you can't go over the fold. It just looks funny as hell. Trust me, I've tried. I love judging my hair for this look. Like a little monkey. What do you guys think? This look is very much so Harouche 2017, 2018 vibes, including the hair. This inner corner is bringing me back to life and making me feel like myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you, Emila, for sponsoring a video of mine. I love, love, love this brand. I would give it a try if you are vegan 100%. Even if you're not, trust me, this brand is really, 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 really good. Everything I have tried of it, I've liked. Mucho mas. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. Whether you're single, if you have a boyfriend, you're engaged, I don't know what, if you're a throuple, you know, nowadays everything goes. Whatever you are, don't be so hard on yourself on this holiday. Make sure you show yourself self-love over anything else. And if no one's buying you flowers, bitch, you better head to Trader Joe's and get yourself a bouquet. Give yourself a bubble bath and give yourself a hug. I love you guys. If no one says it to you, make sure to replay this again on Valentine's Day so you know how much you're loved. I love you. Bye.